this feels really surreal <laughs> but I'm handling my notice it's time I've got the email I'm gonna cry already <laughs> I've got the email in front of me I'm just gonna send it to my manager and to HR I've been so emotional it's, it's been a journey for sure um, I don't want to go into too much detail about like what actually happened or what led me to this point um, because you know no point dwelling on the past um, but uh, this is something that has been a long time coming <laughs> Um, I don't think many people will actually be that surprised. I'm sad <laughs> because I really thought that I would get further than I am. I really thought that I would progress in a different way. Um, I've learned a lot about myself though and I've had some amazing experiences. Um, it's just, it has to come to an end. <laughs> I haven't been at work for a little while now. I sort of knew this was going to happen. I think, as I said, I think a lot of people knew this was going to happen. I don't think it necessarily was going to be a surprise. <laughs> I always loved the actual job. I had so much fun doing it. I thought it was so fun and creative and I loved to talk to people about what I was doing. Um, things just didn't align. <laughs> as I said, I don't want to go into it too much, but like, you know, like workload and stuff and with someone that you know has been diagnosed with NDD, GAD and PTSD I just I didn't have the mental uh, I don't want to say strength because that's calling myself not strong but like I don't think I could deal with it so now it's time to end it where I've been off for a little while I have distanced myself so much that I feel so far gone from this role already um I'm gonna miss the people so much because I think that I made some really nice friends there and while a lot of the time I did feel quite alone and sort of separate um, there are some people that were so kind so lovely that I'm just gonna miss you know when you leave any job you miss the people <laughs> and like people that you just see every day I'm gonna miss the office so much it's such a nice office I'm gonna be sad not to be working in there anymore it was such an amazing office so beautiful it just feels so weird like I've been saying for ages that this is what I'm doing, I'm handing my resignation, I don't have a backup plan, I don't have another job to go to yet, and it just feels weird that like it's actually happening now, like I've got the email in front of me and I'm gonna quit. As I said, you know, obviously I don't want to get in trouble and I am saying that, you know, it's not necessarily reflective of the company that I was at, things just didn't align for me and I think no matter what would try to change I don't think it would have ever resolved how I was feeling and I have to just sort of prioritize me you know it's such a kick up the arse when you've reached sort of like this low point or it's like a kick up the arse of like what's actually important who's actually important that I've just had to be really selfish essentially and I've just had to try and push past any judgment that I feel that people might be thinking of me or whatever and yeah just prioritize myself i guess i feel like i probably wasn't the easiest case to deal with i feel like there were some changes you know it could have been really good but like right you know and it's like with people it's like right person wrong time i do feel like it's a bit like that with this job i just think some things weren't it's gonna be really hard because i'm not just leaving this job but i'm leaving publishing as a whole i'm giving up the industry that i've spent the longest in <laughs> Compared to other people, it might not be as long, obviously I've not been there for like 20 years, but I've been there for about four years, like the majority of my corporate career has been publishing, and I feel like I created a persona and an online brand of who I was based on the job that I was doing, and that doesn't define me. You know, even the fact that I started this YouTube channel, this started because I was making videos about publishing, and I feel like I was so ingrained in that that it feels weird to take a step back and that's not going to be like me anymore and given over the last few months I have changed my content slightly you know I do more sort of travel vlogs and do self-care and I do well-being and that sort of stuff but it does just feel like I'm giving up a whole big well I am I'm giving up a whole big part of my life and though you know I might not have stayed in publishing forever it does feel like it's such a sudden end you know I didn't this isn't ending the way I wanted it to 
and that I had in my mind and that would have been ideal. So it just feels a bit sudden and a bit sort of traumatic, I guess, and a bit like not how I had in my head. And I'm, I think I struggle with dealing with change a fair amount. Um, change is good and I, I know that and I do like change, but I, I think I find the adjustment really hard. So even just the thought of now not being at that work and not being stable is scary. Um, as well, like I think, like not even just within my company, but in the industry as a whole, I feel like I made friends. And like if you're watching this, maybe you've come from a publishing place as well, like trying to get in or something, in which case I really hope the channel was helpful and you'd consider, you know, still sticking around my videos, keeping interest in sort of like what I'm doing and where my career takes me. Because no doubt I will, you know, get back on my feet and do that stuff again. But at the moment I am, to be honest, in a really, really low part of my life, <laughs> to be honest, where I just feel everything has come at once. And... I'm not dealing with it how I anticipated I would deal with it. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But yeah, today is the day. Oh, I feel so weird. I don't, I've literally just sat here with it open in front of me for like 10 minutes, but I don't want to press send because it just feels scary. <sighs> I think the worry is what's getting to me as well, you know. What am I going to do after this? What, where is my future going to take me? I'm having a bit of a crisis where I'm just... You know, a whole existential crisis where I'm thinking long term, but short term, this is it. Goodbye to my current company and my current colleagues and my current role, industry as a whole. Um, I know it's just a job at the end of the day, um, but obviously you do get sort of emotionally attached to it and to the people as well. And it's a total change of lifestyle. So, yeah, that's me. Over and out. It's gone. Message has been sent.